Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about rating scale and checklist which comes under data collection methods. So this was taken from the subject Nursing Research and Statistics Unit 5 that is data collection methods from BSc Nursing syllabus. So this video will be useful for BSc Nursing students, post basic BSc Nursing students as well as students who are studying MSc Nursing. Already we have posted many videos with related to nursing research and statistics. Separate playlists have been created to nursing research and statistics also. So the links will be given in description box, suggested end card and i card. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Rating scale. What is rating scale? Rating scale refers to a scale with a set of opinion which describes varying degrees of the dimension of an attitude being observed. So this rating scale checklist everything comes under attitude scales. Okay so this rating scale refers to a scale with a set of opinion which describes varying degrees of the dimension of an attitude being observed. So rating scale is a device by which judgment may be qualified or an opinion concerning a trait can be systematized. So you can give a rate or you can give a score. So in rating scale you can give a score and you can quantify the thing. Okay. So what are all the types of rating scale? It is graphic rating scale, descriptive rating scale, numerical rating scale and comparative rating scale. So the types are graphic, descriptive, numerical rating scale, comparative rating scale. Let's see one by one. What is graphic rating scale? In this scale, the performance is printed horizontally at various uh, points from lowest to highest. So, for example, if you are uh, naming the numbers 0 to 10 pain scale uh, and all know from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like that, you can give from lowest to highest points. Next is descriptive rating scale. This type of rating scale does not use numbers but divide the assessment into series of verbal phrases to indicate the level of performance. For example, um, you can tell very poor, poor, average, good, very good, excellent like that. Or sometimes you can uh, uh, show no pain at all or extreme pain, moderate pain, severe pain, very severe pain like that and all. So this is what descriptive rating scale. Next is numerical netting scale. So here it divides the evaluation criteria into a fixed number of points but defines only numbers at the extreme. So you have uh, numbers that is only 0 at one extreme and 10 on one extreme. Oh, that is numerical rating scale. Next is comparative rating scale. So here the researcher makes a judgment about an attribute or characteristics of a person by comparing it with that of the similar another person. See two person who are having pain. So one person's pain you will be assessing with other person's pain. So for each one you will be giving separate rating scales and you will be asking them to mark the uh, level of pain. So then again you will be comparing the two rating scales. So that is called as comparative rating scale. What are the advantages of rating scale? It is easy to administer okay and scoring also is very very easy and it can be used for a large group of population and it may be used for the assessment of interest, attitudes and personal characteristics. So they are adaptable and flexible research instruments okay. So you it is very flexible and you can modify it or whatever you want you can do and easily you can administer with that of the uh, samples. So it is easy to administer as well as easy to score and it can be used for a large group of population and uh, many characteristics personal characteristics interest attitudes and all easily it can be assessed by means of rating scale what are the disadvantages it is difficult or dangerous to fix up rating about many aspects of individuals so for all the characteristics or attributes of an individual you cannot use a rating scale because it may vary from one person to another based on the personal uh, thing okay so it is difficult or dangerous to fix up rating you cannot uh, rate uh, some aspects in life you, you cannot be rated Next is checklist. A checklist is a simple instrument uh, consisting prepared list of expected items of performance or attributes which are checked by the researcher for the presence or absence. For example, uh, everyone uh, used to learn in our first year nursing foundations pre-operative checklist. 
okay whether pre operative consent whether you got pre operative consent yes or no whether dentures removed or not whether dentures is present or not yes or no whether pre op medications given or no yes or no whether skin preparation done yes or no so like that a set of items will be uh, will be given on one side and you have to check it whether it is present or whether it is absent so characteristics of checklist observe one respondent at one time so you can administer this checklist for one respondent at a particular time so it clearly specify the characteristics of behavior to be observed so you know for example skin preparation done or not you know what to be observed only you have to see whether skin preparation has been done or if not it's not done so the observer should be trained how to observe so when you want to administer checklist first you have to give training to the observer the observer should be uh, should know what are all the aspects he has to observe and what are all the things in the checklist first he has to understand it then only he can administer it so what are the advantages checklist allow inter individual comparisons so you can compare one individual with other individual and it provides a simple method to record observation so easily you can administer checklist and you can use in most of the areas this checklist and uh, easy to compute also checklist easy to compute and uh, objectivity is there because the person is going to tick uh, it objectivity is there and decreases the chances of error in observation so you are going to observe and you are going to uh, fill the checklist so it is very easy to administer and uh, for a large group of population you can correct cover it but you have to administer only one at a time moving on to the disadvantages does not indicate quality of performance so here you cannot check the quality of performance because whatever is present or absent one day you are going to tick and nothing not more than that only limited component of overall clinical performance can be evaluated so you can evaluate the overall clinical performance of an um student or a nurse whatever it may be so it has limited use in qualitative research so checklist is has very very limited use in qualitative research hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video feel um, to give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist nursing research and statistics or for separately we have created playlist for nursing research also and for statistics also so other um, subjects like a so psychology nursing foundations and the previous year question papers have also been posted in our channel so you can watch it and you can get benefited most of the statistic related sums also we have posted in our channel i hope this uh, video is clear if still you have any doubts feel, feel free to post your doubts in comment session thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel